Check low, relax yourself and let the sugar love Yo, down. It's raining allergy, I'm floating through the Highland Tunnel swerving. I'm digging on the Sheba, pulling Sheba, she be splurging. We lurk hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, that's my new intro, I guess. <clears throat> I like it just because I guess I'm a simplistic person, kind of. And it's very simple and, I don't know, it's just like a, a calm, chill intro. And, yeah, it's cool. I like it. But here I got a TDM on underpass. Yeah, I didn't say downpour. Good job for me. Um, always call this shit downpour. Playing with this ant. And, uh, well, he's about to be marking. Playing with someone else, too. Fruit booter. Fruit booter and this ant. And, um... It was in the Tar 21 holographic, if you couldn't tell already. But, uh, I like this because, um, I don't know, it just, it doesn't really take any recoil off. I guess I just like it because the red dot, if I had a normal red dot, I'd probably like that more. But just, just, it works with it well. Because the normal red dot, the Mars, it's called a Mars Sight, if you didn't know. Oh yeah, that's that's the definition of overpowered right there, what that guy just did to us. <clears throat> but anyways, it's called a Mars Sight. M-A-R-S. Mars. And um, that's like its real life term. The red dot that the, um, that both, oh, check this out. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a, I'm putting that in a montage. So you guys will be seeing that again because that was beautiful. That was the, the stupid swing, and I killed him. But anyways, um, it's called a Mars Sight. It's, the reason why it's like that is because the TAR-21 and the F-2000, they both come from factory with, uh, with the sight already attached to them, and they already have those two sights. So that's why in this game that they have those instead of the normal red dots that the other guns come with. Because all other, most other guns, um, they don't, they don't come with, a uh, with dot sights, they just have their normal iron sights, and that's what they use. But so yeah, I just wanted to tell you that. So that's why the Tar Twenty One has that funky looking red dot. Same with the F Two Thousand. You learn something new every day, right, guys? Yeah. And um, right now I'm coming into this building. We're trying to flush them out so the AC One Three can get more kills. And uh, this ant just called this guy out. He said he's upstairs, so I uh, took him out with my RPG. And that's what the RPGs are for. You just gotta. Sp when someone's hiding in a building, RPG takes care of that problem real quick. Because they don't have incredible range, so you just need to stand outside the building or outside the room that they're in. Just launch one into the ceiling, into the wall, you'll take them out easily. Also, it's great for defending flags when there's more than one person on it. And you don't think you can get them all with your gun. So. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a little bit early in the morning. Um, it's also good for that. And I just got hard scoped by I have no idea where. And uh, I almost got m almost got murked by that RPG, but I'm gonna work my way around because they are focusing that middle bridge a little too heavily and I know if I go across it I will die for sure. So here I kinda move around towards the outside. Um I like this spot. Oh, and just got the nice wall bang right there. Right through that wall. Um Right here, I got up to the middle bridge. That's where I want to be because they're all spawning over here. And I know the guy down there, he has a Raficus. See right there? So that's why I was kind of hiding from him because if I showed myself, he could have taken me out a lot easier. And I check if that guy is upstairs or in the bottom, and he's in the bottom. He'll fire him when he gets a little too aggressive. And I let these guys come out to me. That's why I'm staying back here. Um, if I go out there, there's there's too many people at too many different angles that will take me out. So I'm going to let them come to me so they all form. So I don't have to be looking around. Because if I went out there, I'd have to look to my left, I'd have to look to my right, I'd have to look behind me because there's, they'd be surrounding me. And at the point I am behind that mattress, I can stay looking on generally the same area. And, um, and they'll kind of poke their heads out in different areas. And, uh... It's, I guess you can really call that camping because they had an easy chance. I had an unsilenced weapon and I was standing behind a nice soft mattress that I could have easily shot through. So, I don't know. The only only reason I was there is just so uh, I wouldn't have to be bombarded and surrounded by enemies. But here I got this ACR. I'm going to work my way around the map. I know they're in those two sniper buildings. See? Uh, after the UAV. 
and uh, I'm using low streaks in this game. I always use low streaks now, or I'm not gonna say always because eventually you're gonna see me start using some high streaks in some of my gameplays. But as of now, I'm using low streaks just so you guys can appreciate some gun kills I'm getting, especially in TDM. Low streaks, they're the way to go. Run low streaks in TDM. Don't try being Johnny McHero and freaking get an AC-130 and clutch the win because they're just going to hide inside. You're not going to get much kills with it. So, I'm telling you, you run the low streaks. The UAV, the counter, the predator. Predator takes out other people's air support. The UAV counters their UAV and then you got your own UAV. It's perfect. With those, you just... I just set you up as an ultimate team player. And I heard that guy chasing me, so. Tactical button layout. You just slap your stick and you're done. You're just down on the ground and it's good. And I'm kind of just listening for these guys in this room. And, uh, yeah, like I said, just run those low streaks. Helps you out a lot in Team Deathmatch. It helps your team out a lot, which is the best part about it, because it's not called Team Deathmatch for no reason, all right? You need to help your team. Right here, I'm just working my way up. Uh, they kept coming for me. I made that room super hot by killing like five people in it. So then, they started coming to me. They started mobbing me, but it didn't work out too well for them. I was so while I was shooting through that wall right there. I was trying to blow up that tank and kill the guy outside, but um, but it just took too much ammo, and I got impatient with it. So I tried killing that guy with the grenade, but he re was too quick. It must have been Flash's cousin or something. But yeah. Who got it? Um, last kill. No kill cam, I guess. Sorry, guys. Um, I'll see you guys later with probably more TDMs. I've been doing a lot of team deathmatch with my friends lately, so look forward to more team deathmatch, right? Okay, see you later.